Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Minecraft Java shaders and I am on the latest version 1.17.1 .1, and this shader is actually called the Project Luma shaders. And for those of you who have never heard of this before, it is actually based on another popular shader pack which is called CUDA shaders and this is a continuation rework of that shader pack so I probably do a review of the CUDA shaders later on down the line but for now if we have a look at this shader pack and I'll show you a bit of gameplay and I will show you how to install it as well and get it running in your Minecraft Java version 1.17.1 .1. now I would recommend that you do install Optifine for this one because there are some problems with the Irish shaders and sodium as well so I would highly recommend that we use this in Optifine version 1.17.1 .1. Let me quickly show you in the options, if we go to video settings, shaders, shader options, we can actually select profiles here. So this is only possible in Optifine in version 1.17.1. .1. The latest preview version of Optifine does support this, so it's a good thing and we can run that and it runs fine. And obviously we can change the profiles here to light, medium, high, ultra and then cinematic, which I've got it set on now. You can also go into the uh, different settings like the shadows and the environment, effects, post-processing, tone mapping and then surface as well. So for example we can go into the post-process, turn off lens flare if you wanted to do that. We can also go into effects and turn on motion blur as well and turn off depth of field. Now another thing I did notice about this is that it has depth of field enabled by default which is quite cool. So if we have a look at this cactus here you can see that the objects behind it are blurred out but when I look at the cactus behind it the one which is closer to me is blurred out. So let me just put on my crosshair so I'll show you guys what I mean. So if I'm looking at this one the objects in the background are blurred and if I'm looking at the one in the distance the one which is closer to me is also blurred. It's definitely a really cool effect. If we have a look at the water, you can see that it is different to other shader packs. I really do like the colors they've used in this shader as well. I quite like the green colors which they've used in this and the water as well. It looks quite realistic as you can see. Reminds me of the Oceano shaders as well, but obviously not as blue as the Oceano shaders. And if you have a look through the water there, we can see through the water, we can see the fishes there. I think the water in this looks really nice and I do quite like the shadows as well. If we look up in the clouds you can see that the clouds are actually based on a realistic look compared to a game type look in the other shader pack so we can see that we do have a rounded sun here and it is reflected in the water as that as well as a rounded figure so if we have a look in the water there as you guys can see there. Let me turn the time today. As you guys can see we've got the sun's reflection there and the sun is rounded there. And as I mentioned before the shadows do look quite nice in this. Let's check out the gameplay underwater. So as you can see we can see the sun's rays coming in through there. And it looks really nice, especially with the added depth of field. Everything looks so cool. And as you can see in the top right there, I am getting some good frame rates as well. If you guys do find that the frame rates are dropping for you, you can actually go into options, video settings, shaders, shader options, and then change the profile. So let's check out light and see how we perform with the light profile. So as you can see, obviously I'm getting a higher frame rate there, hovering between 180 to 200, slight dips to 160 there on the light version. So if you guys do find that it is dropping for you on the higher versions, you can drop it down to the light profile. All right, let me switch it back. And as you guys can see, it has started raining as well. And we do have the reflections of the water there. I think it looks quite nice. And in the water, we do see the reflections of the objects as well. So you can see this cactus here. And in the puddle, I am seeing 
two things. I'm seeing the reflection of the cactus, as you can see, and I'm also seeing the raindrops as well. I think that's a nice effect, as you can see there. We've got more cactus objects there, and we can see the reflection of the rain. And when we move out of frame, it disappears. It's a nice effect there, something that we would see in an RTX environment like ray tracing. So I would highly recommend uh, you guys give the shader pack a go. If you're looking for a shader pack to relax in and just to chill out and uh, just install it and forget about the shaders, not have something too intrusive or that bothers you with its colors. It's quite a lightweight shader pack as well. As I mentioned earlier, the water looks really amazing as you can see. This obviously looks different to the BSL shaders or Silder's shader pack as well. As you can see, they've got used a different color here for the grass and the sand. And performance wise, it is quite nice as well. I haven't noticed any dips in the performance as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to download this and install it. Obviously, I am using Optifine version 1.17.1. It's the preview build, which is version pre-29. So if, if you are watching this video in the future, chances are that a later version might come out and it might have more fixes to it. But at the moment, everything does run fine as it should. So let's go ahead and download the shader pack and install it for Minecraft version 1.17.1. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to install Java because we are going to use Optifine. And as I mentioned before, we're not going to install Iris shaders this time because the Project Luma shaders does have a problem with the skyboxes in Iris shaders. So I think it is more compatible and it's probably made with Optifine in mind. So we are going to download the latest version of Optifine for version 1.17.1. So if you open up your browser, the first thing we're going to actually download is Java because for installing Optifine, we do need Java. And after you've installed Java, it's going to make your life so much easier. You can just install it really quickly. So just type in Java JDK 16. And don't worry, guys, I will leave a link in the description below so you don't have to go around searching for all of this. If we go to this link over here, scroll down to the Windows installer because I am on Windows. I'm going to download the exe file and wait for that to finish downloading. All right, so as you guys can see, I have finished downloading the JDK Java version 16 installer exe file there. So the next thing I'm going to download is Optifine. So if you open up your browser again and then just type in Optifine and in the search box, the first link, it should be the optifine.net, which is the main website for Optifine. So if you click on the downloads link here in the menu, you can see that the latest version is Minecraft version 1.17.1. And if you click on this plus button here for the preview versions, latest version is pre-29. If you click on the change lock, you will notice that it does say over here that it's not compatible with Forge. So if you wanted to use this with mods, you would have to install Fabric and then use the OptiFabric mod alongside that and then put this in the mods folder. I have done a video about that. If you have a look at my video section or my playlist section, you will find an OptiFabric video that I've done about that. So if we go back and just download this version, I'm gonna click on the mirror link here because it is, it is a quicker download. All right, so as you guys can see, that has finished downloading and I will also leave a link to where you can download the Project Luma shader pack as well. And then I'll place all of the files on my desktop and I'll show you how to install it. All right, so I've finished downloading all of the files. So as you guys can see, I've got the Java installer here. I've got the Optifine jar file and then I've got the Project Luma shader pack file, which is version 1.32 zip file. So let's go ahead and start installing Java and then we'll move on to Optifine. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says Java SE Development Kit version 16 has been successfully installed. So just click on close. And now we can right click on our jar file for Optifine, hover over where it says open with, and then you can click this link here, which says Java Platform SE Binary. And it should open up the installer, as you can see over here. It's got the default Minecraft installation directory here. So just click on install, and it should install it fairly quickly. 
So it says Optifine is successfully installed. So click on OK, but wait for that to close down. Now, if we open up our Minecraft launcher, you will notice that Optifine should be at the bottom left there in the drop down. So as you can see here, I've got the drop down list here and it does say Optifine for version 1.17.1. .1. This is the pre-29 version. And if we click on installations over here, you will see that I do have Optifine here for version 1.17.1. .1. And then I've got the latest release link here, version 1.17.1. .1. So if you just hover over any of these two files, to click on the folder icon, as you can see here. Now in this section, this is the Minecraft's default directory. Look for a folder which says shader packs. Now, if you don't have the shader packs folder, if this is the first time you are installing Minecraft, for example, you can just right click anywhere in an empty space, hover over new, create a new folder, and then rename it to shader packs, like it says here. If we go into the shader packs folder, we can drag the shader pack file which we downloaded. So if we take this project luma file, which is a zip file, so you don't need to extract it, just move the entire zip file into the shader packs folder. It should be inside the shader packs folder, as you can see over here. So let me close this down. Now let me run the Minecraft launcher again. So you've got two options. You can either Make sure that Optifine for version 1.17.1 .1 is selected in the drop down here and you can click on play. Or we can go to installations and where it says Optifine for version 1.17.1, .1, just click on play here and it should load up the game. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded up the game. The bottom left here it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 .1 modded. Now, if I click on options, go to video settings, I should have a button here which says shaders. So click on that, then click on Project Luma version 1.32 and it should activate it there we go and we can go into the shader options now click on profile so we can either leave it on medium or select one of these other profiles so let's go with ultra and i'll click on done so let's create a new world now click on single player create a new world and let's go ahead and see what it looks like And as you guys can see, we are now in the game. We are in a default survival world and the water looks amazing. And so does the sky. You can see the sky box there. We've got the realistic clouds there and we've got the shadows as well. As you guys can see, look at that. It looks so nice. And this is all thanks to the working version of Optifine for the latest release 1.17.1 and the Project Luma shaders as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or queries about using this shader pack or any other queries, please do leave them in the comment section below. And please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.